Hello friends, Dr. Pate here. I hope everyone is doing good. Um, I'm here today with another science boredom buster and you'll have to excuse my voice today. Uh, it sounds a little funny. Don't worry, it's just allergies. Uh, the dirt's been blowing 100 miles an hour the last couple of days and it's just not my friend. So I sound a little funny, but I feel great. So we're gonna do another science boredom buster. <clears throat> so for today, we're gonna talk a little bit about recycle, reduce, and reuse. And so for recycle, you can actually take something like your plastic water bottles and recycle those and they can actually make them into something else. Uh, reuse, you can take your plastic grocery bags and use those again as something like your lunchbox. You can put your lunches in there. Um, <clears throat> let's see, reduce. Do things like turn off lights when you're not in the room or turn off the water when you're brushing your teeth. Those are all examples of reduce. One other um, R that you could put in is repurpose. And we're actually going to repurpose today and we are gonna make a, a toilet paper roll launcher. And don't worry, we're not launching toilet papers, to toilet paper rolls. But what you'll need is to empty toilet paper rolls, and we should have lots of those going around right now. <clears throat> and so um, this is kind of what the finished product look like, looks like, and I know it's a little bit hard to see right now, but we'll get there. Um, and it's really fun. You can actually shoot things with it. So we're going to start with your first um, toilet paper roll. Go ahead and decorate it if you want to decorate it before you do anything else. Okay, so here is mine. You'll need your second uh, toilet paper roll. You're going to need some rubber bands. And if you don't have rubber bands, <clears throat> which I didn't have rubber bands today, I'm just using some elastic. So that would work or like ponytail holders, um, anything that's stretchy like that would work. You're gonna need some tape, okay? You're going to need some scissors, which I left over here. I always seem to lose my scissors. So scissors, and if you have it, a hole punch, and if you don't have a hole punch, you can just use your scissors. Um, as always, make sure that you get your parents' permission before you start any of this. And for certain parts of this, you may actually need your parents to help you out. All right, so we have our decorated toilet paper roll, and so we're just gonna set that to the side for right now. <clears throat> we're going to take our second toilet paper roll and our scissors, and we're going to cut it straight down the middle, just like that. So we're kind of cutting it in half, okay? Then what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're going to roll it up and you're gonna go a little bit past where your cut is so that it's a smaller tube. And this is the part you might need a little bit of help holding it. So I'm gonna to try to do my best because my helpers didn't wanna help me today. I guess they're a little camera shy. All right, so I'm gonna put it like that and put some tape on it. Okay, just like that. And if you have extra tape that's sticking up past the top and the bottom, that's no big deal. You can just tuck that extra tape in just like that. Okay, so there's my smaller toilet paper roll. So you can see the difference. Maybe there you go. Okay, so just like that. <clears throat> then take another square of tape and put it over the top of your smaller roll like that. And then just kind of mash the sides down. You're just kind of covering that hole because you don't want anything to go through it. Okay. Now, <clears throat> whoops, I smushed it. Don't smush yours. All right, so I'm gonna go back to my decorated, the bigger roll, and I'm going to take my hole punch. Now, if you don't have a hole punch, you can use scissors for this, but you're gonna need a hole. <clears throat> down here towards the bottom, and then you're gonna do another hole on the opposite side. Try to kind of get them even. Okay, just like that. Again, if you don't have a hole punch, get some scissors, 
Um, but please, please have an adult help you with this so that you don't cut yourself and you'll cut a hole on both sides just like that. Okay. All right. So now <clears throat> on the side opposite of the, of the hole where you covered it, so the open hole, you're going to do the same thing on your smaller tube. So here's my first hole. Again, this is that open side, not the closed side. And, okay, and there's my second hole. All right, I know it's really hard to see. Okay. All right, now the fun part begins. So since I didn't have rubber bands, I'm going to tie my elastic so that it makes a hoop or a loop. So it kind of looks like a rubber band. This might be easier said than done, guys, sorry. Okay, so you just want it to be a full loop. And you need two of those. All right, so there's my two loops of elastic, or if you have rubber bands, you're already set. So then <clears throat> you're going to take your bigger piece, and I'll try to kind of lean forward on this one. Okay, you're going to take your rubber band or your elastic, whatever you have, you're going to go through that hole, just like that, and then you're going to put your one end through the loop and pull it so that it's attached onto your roll, just like that, okay? And then do the same thing on the other side. Okay, and then I'm gonna go through that loop, just like that, okay? Then I'm gonna take my other roll, and the side that I have covered is the side that's gonna go inside my bigger toilet paper roll. So it goes in just like that. Then you're going to take your rubber bands or your elastic and you're going to go from the outside, you're going to go through that hole and then come out the bottom. Okay. One more time. You're going to go through the outside circle or the outside hole and through the bottom, maybe, there you go of your roll, just like that. Now, you don't want your elastic to come back out. So you can take a string or another rubber band or whatever you have. So I'm just gonna use another piece of elastic and I'm gonna go through the loop of both of my pieces of elastic and tie them together so that they don't come apart. I'm just tying a double knot around them so they don't come apart. Okay. Just like that, all right? So lots of, lots of elastic there. If you wanna cut part of that off, um, if you have things sticking out, you can definitely do that. So now the fun part. So you can put anything you want to in this little launcher as long as it fits. So something like a wad of paper would work, as long as it's not too big. Um, a cotton ball would work, a um, piece of foil, piece of tape, whatever you have wadded up, or a ball or something like that. You're actually going to grab a hold of the smaller roll and pull it back. And when you let go, it's going to launch out whatever you put in there. Woo, just like that. Okay. Please do not shoot this at little brother or little sister's face or big brother and big sister either. Okay. Um, but it's lots of fun and you could even make some targets if you wanted to and try to aim at the targets. Um, you can decorate any way you want to. I just colored on this one. I didn't even use tape. Um, so, lots of different ways to do this. Um, if you need instructions, there's lots of instructions online. I modified this just a little bit, but, um, you know, fairly easy to follow if you um, go online if you need some extra help. So, um, I will have hopefully another video soon. Maybe I'll sound better. Who knows? Um, but guys, please take care. Make sure you're washing hands. Hopefully allergies aren't getting you either. But I miss you all so, so much, and I can't wait to see you. Thanks, guys.